Hey church family, Pastor Ben here with According to the Word, a daily devotional to offer you encouragement, hope, and guidance from God's Word. As a parent of three young children, sometimes I get frustrated. I love them uh, almost more than anything, but there are times when they frustrate me, when they annoy me, and uh, one of those times is when I tell them to do something and they respond with the question, why? Why? Usually it's said in a tone that is very uh, pouty and whiny. Sometimes there's a stomp or a grunt that is added to it. But they ask this question of why, and usually, especially if they have a little bit of an attitude, I respond with, because I said so. <laughs> because I'm your dad, and you need to listen to me. Other times, when God's Spirit is... <laughs> producing the fruit of patience and grace uh, in me and through me. I'll respond with uh, more specifics. I'll give some answers of uh, why I'm asking them to do what I'm asking them to do. You know, it's interesting when we look in the scriptures, uh, we see God, both in the Old and New Testaments, uh, give his people all sorts of commands, all sorts of rules that they are to follow, things that they are to do and not do. And sometimes the reason uh, that God gives his people for why they are to do these things is equivalent to me saying to my kids, because I said so. We see God in scripture saying, do these things uh, because I am the Lord. I am the Lord God Almighty. Uh, he's, he's telling the people that you need to obey me because I am the creator and you are the creature. And that in and of itself is a good enough reason uh, to obey God. But God also, in the scriptures, uh, gives his people other reasons. Uh, he, he lets them in behind the curtain, if you will, and tells them, here's why you should do these things that I'm commanding you. Here's why I am commanding you to do these things. We see that in Leviticus uh, chapter 20. Uh, in the midst of giving his people, Israel, all sorts of laws and commands before they enter the promised land, uh, he says this to them in Leviticus 20, starting in verse 22. You shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my rules and do them, that the land where I am bringing you to live may not vomit you out. And you shall not walk in the customs of the nation that I am driving out before you. For they did all these things, and therefore I detested them. But I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you to possess, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has separated you from the peoples. We see here God saying to them, you are to obey me and to do these things that I'm commanding you, because I want you to be different. I want you to be separate from the peoples, the other nations, the nations that surround the promised land and the people groups who lived in the promised land before God gave it to his people, uh, the Israelites. So we see here God giving one of the reasons why he commands his people to do certain things and not do certain things. It's because he's calling them to be different, to be separate. And they're to be separate by being a people who knows God's holy and righteous uh, law and who obeys it. That they don't just do whatever they see fit uh, whatever seems right in their own eyes, but they submit to his rules, his commands. God desires that his people be different. That's really one of the uh, main definitions of this word holy. It means to be set apart. To be set apart for God's use. To be different. To be separate. Now, obviously, all of the commands in the Old Testament um, aren't... Uh, applicable to us who live under the New Covenant, although many are. Uh, many are repeated uh, in the New Testament, in the New Covenant. But the principle is still the same. The reason why God calls us to these things is that we're called to be different. We're called to be separate from the world. We're called to have a different worldview, a worldview who sees who the Creator is and who the creatures are, and we live accordingly. We live in submission and obedience to the Lord God Almighty. And so let me ask you, are you okay with this? 
Are you willing to do this? Are you willing to obey God, even if it means you will be different? You'll be separate. You'll be set apart. You see, the reality is, is if we're living according to God's word uh, in this world, we will stick out. That's why we're called to be light, because light sticks out in darkness, and this world we live in is dark. If we're obeying God, we won't look like the world. We won't have the same worldview, the same attitude, the same values. We'll be different. And a lot of times, that can be hard. The easy thing is just to go with the flow. To just try to fit in. To be accepted by the world around us. But we're called to be holy. To be separate. To be different. Honoring and submitting to God above all else.